four, three, two. And we are second countdown. Phenomenal countdown. That, that, I mean that that and you know what's funny? He counted down from fifteen to when we went live, and I felt like that was way longer than fifteen seconds. Too. <laughs> it was good, but it wasn't as good as Dustin's were live. Ch- yeah, cheer. No, I don't. I don't think much will. That's live up the to best. That, one that was a Hall of Fame had. intro. Tim's like fifteen. <laughs> yeah, you're P two right now. Fourteen. <laughs> it took forever. Everybody's to get from gonna fifteen to fourteen. It took Everybody like get fifteen turn. seconds. <laughs> Man. Well, welcome to Dirty Mo Live. Welcome, and uh, we have these three fools here. The today. three fools. It's like the, the three, three fools. It's kind of like we the gotta three get wise that on men. a T-shirt, man. Yeah, it's three like fools the on three barstools. Fools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's have, make that a karaoke a group. Yeah, name. the three fools. Three fools. That's our cover band. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. I like it. What's our What's our first song we play with the three fools cover band? Um, Freebird. Yeah. Freebird. I like it. That's a good. Yeah, one. and we only play Freebird. Yeah, that's awesome. Andrew Curlin What's here. Up, Dwayne. Dalton Greco. Double o. Travis Rockhold. Double O is in the chat. I feel like he's just part of. He's the he's our honorary Live. fourth virtual. He'd be like our tour yeah. manager. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So really, there's four of us here today. Yeah. And Double O is one of them. He. I don't think he's missed a single. He missed live one. This he year. missed one. It was one because uh, we didn't announce it. Yep. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Shame on him for. Yeah. So. Yeah. Shame on the guy who posts that stuff. <laughs> Um. Well, listen. We have Justin Allgaier coming in the studio. He's gonna bust through that door bit. any minute. I told I told him specific instructions. Just open that door as soon as you get here. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna interrupt the live show. Good. We should all pretend like he shouldn't have done that. It's kind of like a jump scare. Yeah. I'm just gonna be. Oh, oh God. God. There he is. Yeah. Um. It's the holiday season. We did our Thanksgiving draft two weeks ago. Yep. No, no, it was, no, last, week last, week. It was last, it was last week. week. It was a week ago. Well, Dalton and I did our Thanksgiving draft. I don't know yeah. what you, you did. just said random nonsense and made a list I'll out of it. I'll tell you, man. Did you do any small talk at the Thanksgiving oh, dinner table? Oh, dude, I killed the small talk at Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, they were, they were, fam- they were I wouldn't, not really family members, but people that were there that I had like a loose affiliation so to. So they don't know your so, humor. So, like, I didn't really know them. They didn't really know me. And I'm pretending like I. I watched every NFL game all weekend. Like, you know me. I'm not a football fan. Yeah. So I'm well, like, yeah, Brett, man. I saw the Lions. They beat the Packers. That was crazy. Brett Favre really slinged that <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'll say I killed the small talk. It was one of my favorite things of Thanksgiving. And uh, now we're here to, because we thought I did such a good job with the draft last week, we're going to do another draft this week. It's Christmas well, songs. And the thing is, is now that Thanksgiving has gone and passed, Nobody can complain about Christmas talk. Now, I, I'm a, somebody that I agree. you can do it, in my opinion, do it pre-Thanksgiving. I don't care, but I'm a lot of people it. are like, you got to wait till Thanksgiving's I think, over. I think the week of Thanksgiving, you start listening, maybe even a little bit before, but the week get of the, is definitely okay because it's like a pregame for Christmas. Get the decorations Yeah, out, you man, get them going. It up. You can't yeah. have them up for a few days. You can't like, contain Christmas to one month. I'm it's sorry. Too good. It's too good. Yeah. Yes. So, um, but we're gonna do some more of these. James Faith Double O Double O says I'm a musician as a profession. So I don't know about tour manager. Well, you're probably a better musician than any of us. So wait, he's gonna <laughs> he he can just be in the cover band. Yeah. 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 What instrument? I'm curious. What yeah. instrument? We could be the three plays? the the three fools and the Double three O fools and the Double, double o, o band. Because yeah. Double O's not a fool. Yeah, he's yeah. not a fool. He's he's but. the. He's the lead musician. We're going to do some more of these in December. We've got a couple more yep. ideas for drafts, but we wanted to start it off strong with this one and, and see how it could go into uh, the month of December. So Christmas songs. Yes. We've already got a bunch of them coming in the chat right now. Yes. So uh, should we decide draft order? And I think how we did it last time is the, the first person to comment one of our names decides the draft order. So and the next name mentioned goes second. Second and third. So Andrew, Dalton, Travis, I want y'all in the chat to tell us who goes first, who goes second, who goes third. We'll just go based Dalton, on Dalton, if your girlfriend is on the chat, she does not have a <laughs> vote. She's going to cheat. She's not. She's actually count. having to work right now. Doesn't so. count. I feel like I deserve the first draft pick because I don't know if I, want I the first. lost the... Oh, you got eviscerated. Uh, yeah, you, you got crushed. It was it was a pretty much a two... Me. It was a two-horse race. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. yes. For, <laughs> thank you for mentioning that. I think who... Dalton probably got the most votes. I think... All said and done, probably, but that first day it was Dalton, Travis, Dalton, yeah. Travis. Dalton, Dalton goes, goes, Oh, wait, wait no, no, that no, doesn't, doesn't count. count. No, you don't count. It doesn't count. You don't get a vote. Uh, oh, wait, there we go. Dalton, Dalton Travis, Travis, Andrew. I go first okay. again? No. Yeah. Andrew uh, went first yeah. last time. So oh, that's last. right. I'm going last. 
Acoustic guitar, you electric d- guitar, trumpet. Heck yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. I, I play, play, a, I play uh, acoustic and electric as well. So yeah. we've got two guitarists I'll, in the band. I'm do vocals only. You'll do vocals. Okay, wait. <laughs> so it's... Uh, it's I forgot I the order already. I, you went first Dalton, last time. I think, Andrew, I think I'm Travis. going first this time. So I will I go first. I thought I'm going last. That's fine. I don't care. I'm going it's first. Dalton, Travis, I don't give a Andrew. Shit when you oh, go. that's right. You're yeah. right. Okay. okay. All right. This a lot. So we were talking about. I don't even know if I wanted the first pick, but I don't know what you're gonna do. There's a lot on the line. I have made a list. I have researched. I've studied. I sweat last night thinking about this. This is a super important thing. And before I say my pick, my first overall pick in the Christmas song draft. Oh, I, can we also? If you pick a song, it doesn't matter. Like if. Once <laughs> once you pick it, it doesn't matter if another person has right. cut that song. So it's all it's, the, yeah, if it's Jingle all Bells by Andrew the song, or Jingle the, Bells by Kenny Chesney. Yes, yes. right. Then once then you can't picked, take Jingle done. Bells by so and so. Yeah, right. Okay. Cool. All right. So I I stayed. I did a lot of thought about this. I I really mulled over this, and I want to set the scene real quick. It's important. Kaylee, if you know his picks and you mess up, she's not going to spoil know it. it. She spoil may it. know it. She may know it. She, I didn't tell her what it is, but she might know it. We have ten minutes until Justin. Comes okay, but imagine. It's a couple nights before Christmas. You're just sitting down with a nice warm cocktail. The fireplace is on. The, the Christmas log. tree. The, the Yule log, right? Mm-hmm. Wink, wink, is on. And the Christmas tree is all lit up. And all of a sudden, you put this down, and it starts playing. And nothing feels more like Christmas than this song, in my opinion. And it is O Tannenbaum by the Vince Guaraldi Trio. And that's, that's the Peanuts song. I'm just going to put Peanuts song. For no. It's, <laughs> all right. But right now, just so I... Come on, that's the greatest Christmas song of all time. How does it go? Uh, I mean, I don't know if I can play it. Because we can't play it, so you have to sing it. I could maybe, no. I could maybe do like six seconds of it. I think that's no. like the. We can't play any. No, you can't play any. Oh, can't sh- play any. It's fine. It'll take four. It'll be nope. a second. We are gonna get. F- How does it not? go? How, it's just not gonna hum get fly. I know. What hum it. I know the Peanuts song. Like hum I know exactly it. what Here, it is. You listen to it outside of a of a. Oh man! Thing. All right. Well then, I didn't know at sitting at number two. The greatest of all was just going to be sitting there waiting for me. Oh, it's paused. That's why I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Mariah Carey. That's the, I mean, yes, that's the all most I successful for, like, Christmas oh. song of all time. That's the most. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is like. Yeah, dun, 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 exactly. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, but it's the jazz version. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, nice. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. All I want for Christmas, Mariah Carey, like, <laughs> I mean. You're just letting the number. That's like, that's, and I was okay giving that one up because that would have been my number one. Heck yeah! Wait, I was okay giving that one up to get the one that I wanted. You could have had I'll yours get two at number picks 10. Here, right? Yeah. Heck yeah, dude! I love this. Um, Kenny so, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> the country Christmas playlist is kind oh, of funny gosh. to go through. I'm not picking this though. Uh, number three, third pick in the draft, and my first pick. Give me Jingle Bell Rock. Okay. By who? Um, the OG or they are, uh, the, the OG, OG. But yeah. I think it's the Ronettes Yeah I don't know who it's Maybe, by Maybe I don't know uh, And then second pick I had to look up the name of it Carol of the Bells By By um, Who is the uh, The the orchestra The orchestra The Trans-Siberian like the, Orchestra Just the instrumental version Like it rocks Okay The Trans-Siberian Orchestra Yeah God. Yep. Are you writing this stuff down Yeah Okay I'm curious what Carol of the Bells. That's what the song is called. Yeah. That's Christmas Eve. Yeah, that's Christmas Eve. It's always been called Christmas Eve. Oh, maybe it's both. Yeah. It's that. I didn't think you were going to take it. Yeah. Yeah. But just like the instrumental version of it rocks. Yeah. But. Oof. I didn't think that. I thought you might have that. I did not. No, I didn't go with any like instrumentals other than. The Vince Guaraldi Trio. I'm telling you, go play that song. You will instantly be transported back to being a child, opening up gifts on Christmas morning. Man, that one hurts. Fair enough. It's a good Fair one. Fair enough. All yeah. right. You're up next. Man. Um, Double O's on my side so far. Uh, I'm going to give me Bruce Springsteen, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. That's, that's a, a good one. That's a great one. That that's is pretty a great solid. One. That nice. is a great so one. The other nothing, one about, I- nothing about that beginning. Y'all better listen. You better listen. The other yeah. one I thought about doing was uh, Jason Kelsey has cut. Oh, that's and right. He's done that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like we have a you birthday in the not. chat too. Whose birthday? I think it's uh, Paul's birthday. I missed it. Paul. Paul? Paul. Paul Elliott, right here. Oh yeah. Okay. Carol Happy the bells birthday. has words too. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah. 
Carol the bells. Nah, nah. Yeah, so like that, I'm yeah. doing the no. Yeah, you're words. doing the trans uh, Siberian yeah, orchestra. Yeah. I'm willing to say that it's off the board. Words or no words. Sure. Yeah, it's off the board. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, Paul. Happy B day, Paul. Um, man, yeah, the Bruce Springsteen. That's a great rendition of that Thank song. You, James. The other good version of that song, in my opinion, is the Jackson Five. Oh, yeah, they've got some good Santa ones. Santa Claus is coming to town. Nice. Um, okay, Dalton, you get two. That's a good one. All right. No, no, no. You get two oh, Do I get two? Yeah, yeah. yeah All right. Snake. All right, my number two pick. Uh, this is honestly probably my favorite one when it comes on the radio uh, around this time of year. It's This Christmas by Donny Hathaway. Nice, yeah. That's a phenomenal song. Okay. The song, my favorite part about it, is at the end when it starts to die out and you think it's going to end and then all of a sudden it goes bam comes back that's i mean yeah. just phenomenal yeah. that song is a feel good song just great all around 10 out of 10 all right i'm so happy that this is my third pick and there's a couple people at home who are watching who are going to love this song it is this one goes out to you last christmas by nice. wham i had okay. that on the list mm-hmm. that wasn't that on one of my ones too. that i was going to take but it was like it was one that I needed to have just Wait, in that's, case. And that's last Christmas yeah. I gave you my Dude, George Michael, but the, the hair and the music day, video. You gave it away. You gave it away. This year. Okay, yeah. We're going to get copyright struck. Yeah. No, nah, so not good. if we sing it. I, it's, it's a joke that we're singing it so good that they're going to think it's the original. Yeah. Man, we're flying through these. All right, okay. So I'm going to change it up. we go a little newer, a little different. I don't think this is one going to take him, but I'm going to do it anyways right now. Give me Run DMC, Christmas and Hollis. That's a good one. Yeah. Dang, man. I like. I feel like my list here, no one's picking my, my songs. I, I love this. There's so many Christmas songs. Yeah. So that's the hard part of this all. You know, okay. This whole thing. So I have two picks here yeah. with my third and fourth. Go with your third first. Just um, Give me a Feliz Navidad. Oh, That's phenomenal. I, almost, I love that song. I almost took that Feliz one. Navidad. Have you ever heard uh, the Michael Bublé version? No. He like slows it down Feliz. and and does like a whole intro in Spanish. Heck yeah. Oh, it's awesome. And then give me Melakaliki Maka as number four. Yeah, that's how the Hawaiians say Merry Christmas. You're mm-hmm. just... Uh, He's he's a you can tell he's a classic Christmas yeah. guy. Yeah, you I, really are. Like he you're took the this guy. More seriously than I thought he would. You're the guy sitting around the fire roasting chestnuts because that's the tradition of Christmas. I've never roasted a chestnut in my entire life, but I could see you doing that. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, Travis. Uh, Travis, with your number four pick, <sighs> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, it's do I go classic or do I go new? I have so many more songs that you guys haven't picked. I know. I, I I'm I'm torn here. I think I'm gonna go classic for this one. Give me Chuck Berry, Ron Rudolph. Ryan. That's a ah. great one. That's a th- the fact that that's at four is wild. Or like at, at that was in on round my four. list. Dalton is, uh, wait. Dalton is stupid. Yeah. Whoa, that's what it said. James. Dalton nice. is officially a Andrew, brother. Nice choices. A- <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Faith. Yep, Donny Hathaway yeah. is is uh is the man. He's phenomenal. That's that song puts me in a mood like, you know, just just pure happiness. Um, all right, so I have four and five. Yeah. Um, and I don't. I I just got a clear path to pick my top five that I listed. No one took any of them. Uh, my number four. I could have gone with the original, and he'll probably roll over in his grave. But I'm going with the new age king of Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas nice. by Michael Bublé. The guy's the king of Christmas. There's it's no one. Beginning to yes. Look like that whole like that Christmas. whole song is just so good. Everywhere yeah. we go. I'd make an argument yeah. that that's my favorite Christmas album of all time. So that is super nostalgic for me because that was like the every year our family gets together and we would spend the Christmas holiday time in Florida and that would that would be the song that like yep. I just remember in my mind hearing. If and you, like going to the like the light show and like that was the song that's playing. If you go to Starbucks right now, you can probably find it right there at the checkout counter because they mm-hmm. sell it every that and like yeah. Josh Groban's uh, CD for Christmas. Um, yeah, I think Michael Bublé kind of owns Christmas as far as Mariah Carey has like a, those two or three good songs. She's the but goat, but he's like he's just got the whole album. The like the whole month yeah. is his. Yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Travis, your number five. Nope. nope, my number five. Oh, shoot. my number five. Calm down. And I know it's not copyrighted. I know for a fact it's not copyrighted. Okay. And I'm gonna play it. And Dustin almost ruined it earlier, but oh, oh. Would you do us the honors of spitting Dr. Reynolds' 
Nice. DMX. <laughs> yep. All right, that's enough of that. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer by DMX is my number five pick. Dang, man. That is phenomenal. Good that stuff. Be, that instantly became one of my favorite Christmas songs as soon as he did that. Mm -hmm. He was like, I know all the words. Yeah. I can sing it. And literally just did it all the way through. Pamela says Brett Eldridge is Mr. Christmas. I, I agree. No, he, no, he's not Mr. But it's Michael Booth. He's like a modern. Pam, like he's like the. He's, he, he's up there for like he's being Mr. the voice of Christmas. He's like Mr. Christmas year. in Nashville. Yeah. But maybe not the whole world. Uh, he does like a tour in Chicago. Like he's like the. He's a residency, I think, in Chicago mm. where he does Christmas. Esque songs. Travis, you're number five. Before Justin gets Man, in. Man, all right. I'm going to go stay classic. Chuck Berry. Did I already? You already picked okay, that. I already picked him. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to pick it again. Uh, yeah. Beach Boys, Little St. Nick. That's a good one. Run, run, reindeer. Yeah, I like that one. Shoot. I. This is going to be a tough na, na, na. number five pick. I'm between two. I think, so I've got a bunch of upbeat. Jingle Bell Rock, Care of the Bells, Feliz Navidad, Melikaliki Maka. Like, that's a bunch yeah, of upbeat happy songs. Christmas. Should I stick with that theme or should I add some variety Theme's, and do a whatever slower you, whatever one? Whatever you think is going to pay off the best for you. I love a good duet. So I'm going to go with this. Baby, it's cold outside. The elf version. Very good. <laughs> no, very, very good. <laughs> You know the one where they're yeah, yeah. Sing is are they singing in the Zoe, shower? Yeah, or well, she's in the shower, yeah. and then he's yeah he he accidentally creeps up in the bathroom, and she's like, "What are you yeah. doing in here?" Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. He uh, runs he runs into the mirror with his face. <laughs> yeah, a couple that I had. Yep. Uh, Bing Crosby, White Christmas. Yep. Okay. I that was so I was between that, and I also <laughs> was uh it was between Baby It's Cold Outside and Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. Little Drummer one. Boy. That's another good one. Uh, That's another one of my all time one. favorites, but I didn't pick it for this because I I didn't think I would help me win. But Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. It's like oh, my man. favorite. Mm. Dude, it's so funny. None of those are on my list. Or what What about I call mommy kiss and say. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. And then there's some new ones. So Ed Sheeran and Elton John have a Merry Christmas song. The music video is hilarious. The song is dope. Mm. Uh, Taylor Swift Christmas Tree. Yeah, Christmas Tree Farm is up there. And then uh, Harry Connick Jr. Uh, was going to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But, but I took DMX him with DMX. was one of yeah. mine. Curious in the chat. Who do you think, and we'll recap it when Justin gets here too, but who do you think has the best list, and then what songs so, did we miss? Do you have any other honorable mentions? Tim, uh, so what was your number one pick going to be? Silent Night. Elvis, okay. Blue Christmas. That's on my list of Elvis honorable mentions. Elvis is number one. Uh, my, number, my number six was Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas You, because I knew I wasn't going to get it. I, I had to take her. But my number seven was Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays by NSYNC. That's phenomenal. I've got that written That's down there. That's a great one. Uh, Please Come Home for Christmas by The Eagles. Uh, if you don't know that one, go listen to it. It's really good. Underneath the Christmas or Underneath the Tree by Kelly Clarkson. Okay, that's a good one. No Frosty the Snowman taken by anybody. No. Um, underrated, probably the most underrated Christmas song is "Shake Up Christmas" by Train. I and, have to listen to yeah, that. You'll have to go listen. Wait, to did it. someone do Last Christmas? Yeah. Last Christmas. That was Who my, got that? That was me. Yeah. That was my a good third one. I really okay. didn't think you were going to take Trans Siberian Orchestra. I really. Heck yeah, man. I love. Um, when artists don't just cover songs, they kind of write their own new Christmas song. Um, Buble has Santa one. Baby. Train has one. Yeah, Diane, um, that's a good one. We didn't do that one, did we? Or we did. Uh, Kaylee said, "God rest ye merry gentlemen." Yeah, that thing goes hard. Kaylee, who do you think won? Be honest. You can. You don't have to pick me, babe. It's all right. <laughs> we got. We got to find a way to like whoever loses a little punishment or something on the yeah. show. Well, Andrew lost, so you get eliminated. Yeah, just actually, you get fired. Immediately, yeah, you get yeah. We've got a box in our office. Now. Go ahead and uh, put it in the chat. Comment whose name you think Little did the Drummer best. Boy's good. Um, Double O sent by the way. Double O tweeted me a picture of uh, his guitars. These are pretty sweet. Oh, he's got multiple. Oh, wow, he's like multiple you're like actually like legit. It's a nice Telecaster and, uh, on the left there. Oh, Kaylee it, said, I think hmm. that's a Martin guitar. It's a pretty. He's got that, some nice that's guitars. a good. That's yeah. a good guitar. I was considering getting a Martin. I have, I have an Taylor. Air guitar. You even oh man, you play Air. Shoot, man. man, that is pretty oh, cool. Oh, wow. wow. Andrew. Andrew may have won. Kaylee, who wow. asked you? Oh, oh heck she's, yeah. She's a classic girly, too. Redemption. I think, I think she's just somehow like, she's a fan of Andrew for some reason. Oh, I'm, I'm you, a fan of Andrew. Did you hear Jimmy <laughs> Fallon? So I'm seeing Pamela in the chat said, Wrap Me Up by Megan Trainer and Jimmy Fallon. I mm. have not heard that. Mm. I, I think that's kind of cool. Double Jimmy o. Fallon's got a song. Andrew won. 
Oh, mm. wow. I guess I went too hard Come with on. Vince Guaraldi, but that's my favorite Christmas song of all time. Okay, wait, I, I like this idea. One. Justin needs to make his top five. No. Yeah, we'll just we'll just ask what his top five songs mm-hmm. are. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think he's oh, actually man, here right now. He's here. We literally just said his there name. He and here he comes. Hello. What's going on, man? Welcome. I, am I here yeah. my You're right over there. I do like the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the man. Shirt, yeah, go buy the shirt. This is a very yeah, hey, no kidding. Cheers, Justin. I mean, yeah, we're all we're all a little bit different here. Travis likes his Coors Light. So, I like oh. my beer. Oh, oh party foul. Oh no. At least it wasn't beer. Can you all see <laughs> this? Yeah. Like, I feel yeah, like you Justin. Can that's Hold a party on. foul, TM. That is a party foul. Have uh, I have to give this to you right here. Colby's coming with some instant, uh, that's okay. paper towels. Can we get him some paper instant towels. Injection. Colby's coming. <laughs> oh, we're good. We're no, good. It's all right. It's all good. <laughs> Just roll with it. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Right. I like it. I feel like this microphone is really oddly placed, though. Mm. You can move it down. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can well, just no, the like, arm. Like, Just don't spill your drink. Yeah, again. it is. It's a little. It's <laughs> a little awkward. No oh, we did get it. Out. We did get it on video <laughs> too. <laughs> and look at look at you with your stupid party foul. Man, <laughs> I've got the party foul red card in my wallet at all times. Why? You yeah. never know when you need I it. I did that. Give it to somebody. Unbelievable. How you doing, man? I'm great. How are y'all? You're, You're good. Doing good. Okay. Yeah. We were just talking about uh here, Colby. Christmas songs. Yes. Um. And we, we did like a draft of like oh, thank best you. Christmas songs for it. the holiday season. Um, we might put you on the spot here, but do you have like a go-to Christmas song that you like? Um, I have a list of songs. If we you did need. five. So, so like I, I think like um, A Holy Night. Okay. Ooh, that's a good that's one. That's a classic. Yeah. That is a classic one, right? Uh, is there anyone that sings it that you like the best? So I don't remember which country singer it was, but mm. there was a country singer that like remixed it, mm. and it was was really really good. Um, so I listen to a lot of Christian music, and uh, Lauren Daigle. Mm. I don't know if you guys know who Lauren Daigle is. I think I've heard. Of she her. does a remake of a bunch of different Christmas songs, and like she's just got that like really clean, like crisp voice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that I feel like when you listen to Christmas music. You know, it can go either way, right? You can either have, like, very southern, mm-hmm. or you yeah. can have, like, a very um, jolly, you know, big belly, like, santa E style, or you right. can have, like, that super crisp, like, just perfect angel yeah. voice for that. You yeah. know what I mean? So I feel like um, I feel like she's got some really good ones. But I, in full transparency, as much as I am rambling on about Christmas music, I'm not a fan of Christmas music. <laughs> really? Ooh. Like, I, I... You know, you walk into a store and there's and Christmas playing. music playing in like September now. Oh yeah, and I like I can't do so it. I'm That's too early. Right there with you. So yeah. like I think the earliest you can play it is like now, but like December first, like it's got to be the month. I think December first is the cutoff for everything. Really? If you want to put up lights, if you want to put up Christmas trees. I totally agree. So it's too early today, on the twenty eighth. Yes. 29th. Yes. Oh, man. Wow. All I right. thought – I so I have the same opinion. I thought it was unpopular and, like, no one's going to agree with me. So that's well, so refreshing is. to hear. No, no, it is. Um, okay. No, you're in the minority. So, yeah. so Chris yeah. Knight. Chris Knight. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty confident he listens to Christmas music year-round. <laughs> like, he's I nuts. know he's a Christmas music, like, connoisseur, and I'm pretty sure it's year-round. Um, like, in July. I can't do no, it. No, that's too much. No. Yeah. No, no. He loves Christmas music. He, like – I th- if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it's Chris. I'm I'm almost positive. <laughs> he even like tweets when like the Christmas music, um, uh, like, the, like radio the radio stations, stations come on, yeah. and he'll tell oh, you like man. where to go and all that. So somebody can confirm or deny that. Right. I don't know. Um, <laughs> we but have a, a Lauren Daigle fan in the chat. Double O. There you go. Oh, oh Carrie Underwood. Good. Also, yes, I would agree. Carrie Underwood okay. does some really good. Yeah, um, I think Zach Brown Band did a uh, mm. Christmas. Music like cover. an album, yeah, like oh. and that was pretty good. They love to do cover a little, music. Get a little island touch to it. We've been talking bit. about Kenny Chesney. Apparently, has a version of Jingle Bells, and it's hilarious to hear. Is like, it it's like, like a complete like? It's like a, you got steel drums in there, and it's like a Caribbean version of Jingle Bells. But is Bells. it like the the actual Jingle Bells? Like, yeah. he didn't change it. Well, I mean, he made it his own gotcha. for sure. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah, got but the it's the same lyrics and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I yeah. mean, no, like some people have like. I'm not going to call him, pa- well, par- Adam Sandler has parodies that are <laughs> <Yeah>. very interesting. <laughs> yeah. No um, kidding. Very opposite of my, um, very opposite of my Christmas music side of things, probably, if I had to say. Um, but uh, there are some parodies that I think are good. They're fun. Mm-hmm. 
um, but very different. So, so you're not a, as big of a Christmas music guy, but like around this holiday, like what are some of the traditions you enjoy of of Christmas? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't really have like uh, like it's so weird mm-hmm. now. So like when I was a kid growing up, Christmas was always a big deal. Like my mom. Thanksgiving, Christmas, she always had all the family over at the house. And so, like, you know, we'd be, like, 50 or 60 deep at the house. You know, oh, and you're, hell. like, oh my. you did not want to miss the line. If you could get in line early, like, you took advantage of the kids' table because you got to go first. First. Um, so you took advantage because if not, you know, you weren't really sure what you were going to end up with. Um, but, you know, as time has gone on, like, my parents are a little older. Right. You know, both of my parents are in the mid-70s. and um, And so, like... A, you know, cousins and, and things like that. They, they've they all gathered families and they've got kids and, you know, some even have grandkids now. Um, and then, like, parents-wise, you know, unfortunately we've lost uh, – I've lost an aunt and an uncle here in the last couple of years. And um, it's just changed. Mm-hmm, you know, yeah. I think that, like – not only that, too, I moved out of Illinois and I moved to North Carolina, which screwed the whole system up. Yeah. Like, I have completely <laughs> wrecked my mom's world whenever it comes to holidays because, yeah, you know. People move away nowadays. Yep. They do. Like, nobody stays home. It's very rare. Yeah, very rare. And I, I grew up in a small town, and, and people don't really move out of um, the small town that I huh. live in. And yeah. so, like, um, now they do, right? Like, nobody stays now. So, it's just kind of weird. But, um I don't know. It's it. Uh, I I always loved that, like waking up on Christmas Day mm-hmm. and knowing that everybody was coming. Mm. Um, now you know, having kids, it's cool when you wake up on Christmas morning. Luckily, I have kids that sleep in on Christmas morning. No nice. way. Like they're, nice. they're not the five a.m. get oh, up I and was go. That kid. I yeah. know I was we too. So yeah. <laughs> like I didn't get paid back for that. Now my youngest one might at some point, but I didn't. Uh, or I haven't yet. But I do really enjoy that. Now, like funny story. Um, so 2020 Mm -hmm. Christmas, right? We were going back home. My sister-in-law had just had a baby, um, on the 20, whatever, 23rd, maybe Mm. like a few days before. Yeah. Or maybe it was like, um, maybe it was a little earlier than that. I don't remember. I feel really bad now that I don't know Mabry's, uh, (laughs) Mabry's actual (laughs) birthday. I don't, I don't know when my parents' Um, birthdays are. It was, it was like, it was like, (laughs) maybe it had to have been like, maybe like the 18th. Yeah. Somewhere in that range. Anyways. Um, we were going back and like Ashley had had like this little bit of a cough, right? Mm-hmm. So she went and got tested oh. and, uh, mm. Christmas morning we sit down, we're opening presents, like going through the whole thing. And like, we were like, there's no way she's got COVID. Right. But we're going back to see a baby. You, yeah. you, you just get you checked. You check. know? Yeah. And, uh, so we're sitting there and the phone call comes in they're like, um, you're positive. Yeah. And oh, so man. you want to talk about, a uh, a significant change of uh, emotions. Yeah. Like yeah. that was like, she started crying. She And she was pregnant at the time with my youngest, mm-hmm. right? So like really, really um, not ideal situation. Oof. And so she went up, locked herself in the room. Luckily, none of us, none of the rest of us no got it. Got oh, it. man. We were all good, but just kind of wild. But I think that it, it's weird because that's kind of changed my like landscape of Christmas a little bit. Mm. Um. I've kind of learned that you got to be a little fluid with everything and, you know, traditions are great, but I think sometimes being a little more fluid is, is a good thing. Yeah. There is some stress that comes with like being an adult around the holidays too. Like, you know, when you were a kid, it was just like, oh, you know, I get presents and there's candy and whatever. Now it's like, I got to get gifts for this person. I got to go to this party. I got to go to, you know, it's a little, it's the busiest time of the year for, for, you know, America in general. Right. You know, not necessarily for other professions, but man, there's, there's so much going on and so there is that kind of layer once you get to christmas day it's like so so i'm gonna be honest um one of the biggest things that i think is really unique for me is um so having a wedding ring pretty much means that i don't shop for anybody's gifts ever yeah right? like like yeah. Uh, i was gonna ask so you, that's what i gotta do yes that that changes <laughs> Buy a wedding the ring game first? hey they, yeah. they're selling them hey the now it's off. worth it travis <laughs> yeah i'm just be honest with you my wife uh you gotta marry the right woman because yeah. my wife is is uh a rock star i say that all the time i like i tell everybody my wife's a rock star and they're like what does that mean and i'm like listen i i yeah. hit the lottery you name it it's perfect yeah. um you know i couldn't <laughs> ask for anything better but i don't really shop for a lot of things now when it comes to the kids like 
you know, we talk about a lot of it. We discuss a lot of it. Um, you know, so I'll, I'll kind of preface this by saying we go back to Illinois now for Christmas. Cool. Um, and so it's gotten a little bit more awkward because now <clears throat> you're – shipping presents there or you're buying them there like oh, stuff doesn't stuff doesn't come to my house anymore it goes right. straight to illinois right and yeah, uh we have a we awkward. have a closet in my sister-in-law's brother and sister-in-law's house that is nothing but gifts but where i struggle is uh, my wife worries about the kids mm. i worry about my wife like when she wakes up on christmas she doesn't really expect to get a gift i guess mm. but like i feel like i got a I got to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm competitive, right? I drive race cars for a living. <laughs> I love that. I um, got to win. You got to win Christmas. Like, hey, this is no like. sweatshirt for Christmas. Yeah. I, that's, that's a, a good great right looking there. sweatshirt. If you have not bought one in the yeah. gift shop yet, they Dude, sell them. These bro. sweatshirts are the dope. Hey, yeah. the, uh, so so you want to know what's funny about that shirt is, is that the t-shirt was on white. And I when we first started, when they did the t-shirt, I'm like, Dude, you ought to put this on a gray t-shirt. Yeah, like Heather gray t-shirt. Athletic gray, I think is what mm -hmm. it's called. But yeah. And, uh, it didn't happen. It came out white, and then the sweatshirt came out. I was like, "See what you've been missing right yep. here. This is this is the ticket." Yeah. So, um, but so we did like we did the whole like we're not going to shop for each other, and then it was like, uh -huh. well, I couldn't not buy you this, right? And so then it's, I was like, oh well, that's that. good because I couldn't not buy you this, and exactly. then it was like, oh well. I was afraid you were going to buy me something, so I got a second one. I'm like, oh, so I got one too. <laughs> so we like did the whole like battle yeah. back and forth a little bit there. Yeah. But um, it's – there is nothing like seeing your kids open gifts and like be super pumped. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that just – Especially when you nail that one gift that they like really wanted. Man, and that's almost yeah. like the better part of it is give it – like watching the reaction. of Like, the, you know, because back in the day, it's like, oh, we loved getting the PlayStation or whatever it was that was the big gift. Like watching that happen now with anyone, you know, kids yeah. or yeah, I don't know if you know this or not. So I'm excited I'm, to give gifts and receive. Yeah, now. exactly. You I'm know, old so. enough that a Nintendo was oh, yeah. a good gift. Dude, the 64. So no, no, like the, oh, the, the legit oh, yeah. Nintendo, yeah. The Nintendo yeah. with yeah. Duck Hunter. Okay, yes. <laughs> when you got the, the Duck oh, Hunter I game, had that, you know, I had that, yeah, yeah. But I got it as like it was, it was new. new. Yeah, yeah. Dang, I just this is gonna kind of derail our conversation here, but it's funny that you say like you're competitive, you want to win Christmas. Um, years back, Justin and I did a cornhole game. We did. I think it was at Road America. America yeah. And dude, he beat the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> like it was, I maybe scored a point. Oh. No layups. And there was yeah. no, no layups. layups. <laughs> and it was just like, I don't know. It was, I, I you saw win. your competitive side. Yeah. So, so it's funny in, because in a game of cornhole, <laughs> my daughter now, um, she plays sports, right? Yeah. And, um, I don't do good with the whole like, oh, you should let your kids win. Like, I don't do good with that. Mm. I'm, I'm, oh. Now, like, so m she plays, um, she has two games we play on the way to school every morning. You either play stop signs or you play uh, Wranglers, right? What are those And games? so um, if you see a stop sign, you call it out. Oh, okay. And then you count how many stop signs you see, no right? Way. Um, which can be a, a big number. Like, I think it's probably in the 50s or 60s from, you know, our house to school, which is not that far. Right. Um, and I know we miss a bunch of them, but like I, I may not always um, take every stop sign, but I'm pretty confident that I know where the last ones are gonna be, and so uh, I try to like keep it close, like keep it close, yeah. and then I'm like, you pull away, right? No there, right? shot, yep. are you winning this game, right? <laughs> He's uh, just saving tires yeah, for the end. Saving like tires that. for the end. Yeah, I'm, I'm good at tire <laughs> management. And then the Wrangler Ooh. one um, is interesting because, you know, I grew up playing Padiddle. Right? You oh. know what Padiddle is? Mm -mm. I don't oh, know what that is. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Padiddle is when you see a car with a headlight out and you just, like, slap the roof and say Padiddle. The problem is, nowadays, <laughs> heard of that. no, nowadays yeah, people one. just don't have headlights out anymore. Oh, uh, like, yeah, that's fair. New updated <laughs> headlights. Back then, so everybody was I grew up in Ohio. Maybe it's, like, a Midwestern thing? It, it must be, be. But yeah. it was great. Um, And I can go down. I, I can actually, maybe not all current cars, but, like, 80s and 90s. Um, I could tell you every car that was coming at me based on the headlight shape. Yep. Yep. Like wow. I knew what kind of car it was, what brand, what model, everything based on the headlight shape. So you got really good at understanding headlights. Um, and so I wanted to play Badiddle, but then, uh, so Wranglers, you have to call out if it's a, uh, truck or a state, um, what color it is. Like a Jeep. Yeah. Like about? what color it is. Okay. And, um, because they're just rare enough. Mm-hmm. 
that like it kind of becomes a game. Although if you drive around Mooresville, they're not so rare anymore. No. So your points totals are really high. Yeah, that's, <laughs> um, fun. that's a fun game. But yeah, so we do that, and so so she's gotten really good, and I've actually lost a couple of times, <laughs> like genuinely, and, like lost. genuinely lost, and it is. <laughs> Does yeah, it kill so you? What's oh. that ride home when you drop her off at school? Like, are you kind of like quiet? <laughs> I don't even turn the. Ra- I just like turn the radio down and uh. sulk. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Not good at that. Do you uh. Uh, like? Do you have to take different routes to school just to like change no. up? Because I feel like mm. you would know the pattern of yeah, where each a stop sign stop is. Signs. We do, yeah, and that's where it becomes hard. Is like you're trying, so you have to be able to see it. And that's where it becomes tricky. Is like oh, so it's not like I know one's coming up. I'm already gonna like. You, it's almost it, like you got to see the car to call shotgun. Yes, it's got to be visible. And um, we we've we've tied a few stop signs uh, for oh, sure. Man. It gets it gets pretty difficult. Um, it gets really tough though. Like now that she's gotten good, I almost can't play. Which she wasn't very <laughs> good at it. It's easy because you're not really taking your eyes off the road. Right. You know now like. <laughs> you gotta drive. You, you, you gotta drive too, and so like traffic is not great around here. And yeah. so I've, I've tried to like yeah. back down how how often we play that one because it gets it gets pretty difficult. It's competitive. That's the way it should be. License plate game. See, I was just uh, gonna yes. say James saying the license plate game. What is that? You gotta so get the different states. Different states. Oh, that's a road, that's that's a road is, trip. That is a great. Yeah. Like I saw Florida fantastic. today. Did like you? so, yeah. uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. New Mexico. Uh, Rhode Island and Alaska are the three that are like super tough. Uh, how about You'll Hawaii? S- Hawaii is actually more common, I feel like, than those. Oh, it could be. The yeah. one that kills me <laughs> is Ontario. So that's not even the United States, yes. right? Yes. You will see Ontario all the time. Yes. I haven't. Now I'm gonna start noticing it. Yep. Yes, it's like the I don't know what you call that. It's like there's an effect when mm-hmm. you like if you are maybe debating buying a red vehicle. Then like you'll see only red vehicles, yeah. or if you buy in a white vehicle. Oh, yeah. I know there is a term. Yeah, it's I don't like know what it is. Once it gets brought up, like then you just start noticing it. So mine right, right now it it is yeah. uh, is welding rigs. Do you know what a welding rig is? Like mm-hmm. a, a pickup truck that like they okay. drive around and weld. So this is gonna, um, this is gonna be mine now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I stupid. <laughs> I uh, I've been looking for wheels for my pickup truck, and uh, I've been trying to find a set of wheels. And I you know I'm a I'm a YouTube rabbit hole person. Um, okay. I have a lot of YouTube land, and this one uh, wheel company posted this like they were they were rating uh, hmm. uh, welding trucks, wow. and so like <laughs> it, it was pretty wild to be honest with you because like there are people that have welding trucks that are phenomenal. Like this guy had a, yeah. um, I don't know, it was a uh, be like a thirty five hundred Chevy mm-hmm. jacked up. W- big wheels like and we're talking about dually like we're not talking about like a, yeah, a yeah. pickup truck dually it had like the suspension and i don't know what they call it but um the the arms ran it like there is a center cradle and so it had like these long arms that ran like you know from the middle of the truck basically out to the suspension to to help okay guide it. i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah like yeah. it's a big thing in off-road stuff yeah and um oh slug bug that's also another game it's but you gotta hit you gotta hit them punch buggy yes. um, punch buggy yeah, yeah. oh yeah no slug bug. It's not punch buggy. It's slug oh. bug. Slug bug. Got to be right. slug bug. I like, slug. I like <laughs> slug. Is that a harder like do you like when you slug somebody? That's, yeah, that's I, a harder, harder than, a than a punch. Knock yeah. the driver out cold. Yeah, <laughs> knock him out. <laughs> hit him in the jaw, you'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, glass jaw. Um, but th- like I'm looking at these welding trucks. Today alone, I've seen three of them. Oh, I oh, haven't man. seen a welding truck. I don't know that I've ever seen one on the road like actually driving, and I've seen three of them today, and I'm like, all right. Hold on, we just got a donation. Oh, heck a yeah. donation, Nicholas. Okay. Thank Justin, you. Justin, I often. imagine you have a soft spot for Macon Speedway, Macon, nope. Illinois. Macon, Macon, Macon. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. You can't mess this one up. <laughs> I do Illinois? know what, Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> yeah, no you're s. From Il- you're from <laughs> Illinois. Oh, I'm gosh. joking. I'm joking. Sorry. Um, go ahead. Okay. Um. So it's for sale, and um, mm. Chris Blair. I don't know if you guys know Chris Blair. He's been around the racing world. I a lot. know the name yeah. for sure. So Chris and his wife uh, bought the racetrack. And renovated it in an effort to kind of grow, um, just to to be a part of it, right? Be a part of the the local community. And um, I don't know exactly on with his wife, but she's got some medical challenges mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. Um, they're no longer able to do it together. And so the track is is up for sale. And um, 
it's super reasonable, I feel like, in price. I think they want like $750,000. No, it sounds yeah. like yeah. a good price. Yeah. But my fear is is that it's going to get bought out mm, and somebody else, like um, other properties. Copart, so. I think, has bought like 37 racetracks this year because it's already zoned for what they need it for, and they just go mm -hmm. level it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. so I hope somebody, I hope somebody buys it that um, wants to keep it going. I got my first um, micro uh, mini sprint that like what uh, Wyatt races. I got my first win there in that. Um, I got my first track record ever in a super delay model. I got my first win in the super delay model there. I got my first midget win in uh, at the racetrack. So like it yeah, has special. a lot of near and dear yeah. to my heart. So I just hope it, I hope the tradition carries on. Yeah, Definitely. Hopefully. Well, Justin, it's uh, it was good to have you here. We yeah. had, a, we had a comment earlier. I wanted to, I wanted to save it just because we were in the middle of our... I don't know what we were talking about. Uh, it's from Travis. I have to say, Justin is the best fan-friendly driver. Every interaction with his boys has been awesome. Uh, you gave a picture and uh, a high five with them at Road America this year. So, uh, Travis was, was... Well, Travis, thank you. Guys. I am beyond super disappointed that Road America is no longer on our schedule. Man, mm -hmm. I love that track. Like, so much. Fan engagement, fan viewer like the the opportunity of you there everything about that racetrack oh, is just so awesome it's amazing um i actually have debated like can i find something else that races up there just mm, to go up there go. and race because i i just want to go watch i mean honestly um i'd love to go up there and just sit sit and watch and i love taking the golf cart and driving all yes. the racetrack and watching yeah so good and so finding the different places to watch the race from i actually sat with some fans um so we sat in a grandstand at turn five, right? So you come down the hill at turn five. You come to the bottom of the hill. You make the left. Yes. So right, yeah. you know, right in the middle. That's a good spot. Oh, that's a great spot. Uh, I've wrecked a couple times there, so it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. For, it's I, know, I know it all too well. Maybe not yeah. for driving. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't wreck there this time, though. I wrecked in turn eight this time. So uh, I think I, I think I'm disappointed that it's not on the schedule anymore because uh, every race that Sam won this year, I wrecked leading. Oh. Every single one of them. Mm. Man, like, is that not wild? That is pretty. Wild. That is crazy. And Road America was one of them. Watkins Glen was right. one of so them. So I'm gonna live bet next year, and if you wreck, I'm betting oh. Sam. <laughs> yeah, if I wreck, <laughs> just leading. bam, Sam right, Mayer. I'm bet. Um, but you know, we we led a ton of laps at Road America, and um, yeah, then it then I didn't. I did until I didn't. Um, but I won but, there one year. I did like 2018. I think I was there for that. Yeah, that was yeah. A, that was a good one. I won. I think we won. That was the year we won five races. Yeah, it was good. But um. Going back to the fan side of things. So when I'm done with this sport and I walk away, I really don't care. I really don't care how many wins I have. I really don't care uh, if I ever win a championship. I mean, I care. But, like, what I want people to remember from, like, my time in this sport is, like, they always had good interaction, right? Um, I just feel like – I just feel like that's – I enjoy people. I enjoy to talk. Obviously, you guys know that. Mm -hmm. um, and I just I just always feel like, um, I don't know. I just always feel like, for me, the, the engagement with fans is going to be what what um, what I want people to remember whenever I'm done. So, yeah. yeah. All right, we got another We got another donation, which Man, is, which is awesome. so sweet. First time we were at That's so awesome. First time we were at yeah. We've had one before, Justin but we haven't had two. We had, we had someone donate one time to tell me I was wrong. <laughs> they were like, that, no, Kyle going to Listen, win. if you're like, going to have somebody donate, that's a great way to do it. But, <laughs> yeah. okay, so um, Riverton area, I think now technically my address is Spalding, where I grew okay. up. The, it got annexed and mm. changed, and uh, new lines were drawn, right? Interesting. Yeah. I technically am from Riverton, because when I moved away, it was still Riverton. Yeah. But Spalding has now taken over, and, and while I do love – town of spalding um i still always say riverton because that's what i i've yeah, that's what like you know. that's, all that's my t-shirts as a time. kid say riverton illinois yeah. so i feel like it would be weird if i just could cut a uh, allegiances and and went to spalding but but it's gonna sound really odd uh but when i drove we were home last week for thanksgiving when you drive into town you come over the bridge you go over the illinois river and um there's a sign there that says "Home of Sprint Cup Series Driver Justin Allgaier." Wow! Sprint Cup, Sprint Cup Series wow. Driver Justin Allgaier. So I'm like, I kind of don't want them to ever take that down. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's a that's an, an ode to history. That and, is uh, awesome. Yeah, that it's is awesome. pretty awesome. So it's got to so be cool. neat to see that and know that like you've made a mark on on the town like that. 
Did your girl, did your you know, daughter really recognize? Like, my oldest one did, yeah. And she was like, what? What's that like? like that's so that's cool. got to be really super neat. Super awesome. Yeah. You know, because they just, they don't know any different. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> Nicholas. Man. That's Nicholas. Man, we appreciate it. Um, yeah. Oh, so Nicholas is from the. He's really from there, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. Which is so awesome. Um, I love where I grew up. Like, it's a small town. Um, the support that, like, small towns in the Midwest give is just different, mm-hmm. right? Like Friday night at football is different, it's everything. right? It's it is, and um, you know I got lucky that I started racing at an early age, and 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 I've been doing this a long time. And uh, the amount of support that I've gotten over the years is is pretty wild. Yeah. So I actually I did okay. So I, I bought a pickup truck while I was home. Mm-hmm. Um, I had no intention. Just on a whim. I didn't buy a welding truck, but I bought a pickup truck. Uh. <laughs> So, so in full transparency, Hendrick Cars, which is where I bought my last couple of vehicles, mm-hmm. didn't have the vehicle that I was looking for. Like I kept looking for it, kept looking for it, and um, they never had one that I was looking for. And uh, everybody likes black pickup trucks. I don't know. I have a black. I had a black pickup truck before. Everybody loves black pickup trucks, and um, <clears throat> um, I wanted white, mm. right? And I wanted a specific white. It's uh, it's pearl white, right? I okay. wanted a very specific, and I wanted the. I, I I bought a GMC. Um, because they they offered a brown interior, which my wife says that I bought an old man truck, and it kind of <laughs> is an old man truck, right? But um, I uh, I I drove by the dealership, and there's this truck sitting there, and it was used, and I was like, man, that's what I would want, but it's used, and so I got on the website and I started looking at it. I'm like, oh man, somebody like somebody took a hit on on price, oh, gotcha. right? Like they bought a brand new one, and then. You know, I bought this thing significantly cheaper. And um, to come to find out, the guy buys a couple of vehicles every year. His 2023 vehicle was delayed. He got it in January of this year. And his 2024 came in early. And so he had already, like, ordered the 2024. So he had to turn it back in. And Uh so uh, it had just come in and got on a lot. And uh, I went in. So I buy this truck. And there's one salesman in there. I I actually bought the very first first new vehicle that i ever bought i bought from a lady that worked there hmm. and um at this speci- spe- uh, specific dealership she's still there and she said that she's starting her 30th year working at the dealership wow. and wow. uh and so it was cool because i'm like i didn't even i didn't even think about her still being there right. and so um there was one salesman though and i could tell like he wanted to say something but he didn't really want to say something and so i got ready to walk out the door um, we were waiting on some stuff to come through because obviously I'm buying it from North Carolina. It's a, it's right. a process, right? right? And uh, I was gonna go eat some lunch to come back, and he's like, ah, and the the lady that was a salesman, a saleswoman for me, she's like, if you want something to autograph or picture wise, he'll do it when he gets back later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and he like he just went like, oh okay, yeah, and um, because she realized what he yep. was getting ready to do. Yep. Well, I got back and they had printed off a bunch of pictures. Oh. All the salesmen pretty much had printed That's off pictures cool. off, of awesome. the, off of the webs, uh, off of I don't know where they got them at. They were really good for yeah. <laughs> printing them off. And so I signed a bunch of photos, took some pictures, but it was like, it was just cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that. You're in a small town, right? So it's it's just it's really neat. Um, it's really neat to have those opportunities and something that uh, that I really really ap- appreciate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, That's Justin, awesome. thanks for uh, stopping in. Yeah. I'm sorry that I stores. spilled on your floor. Oh, Listen, no, okay. no, thank you. That was fun. We do have a re- we'll have a replay of it. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> you had the first party foul on this show, not me. So thank you. So like, I can yeah. tell Tiff and Mike if party you spilled on your floor. So on, honestly, when I got here, I like was trying to. I don't know what I was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. You were trying to I spill on love, our floors. I do love the the motif. Yes. Like, I don't think they can see it on camera, can they? Probably not. If, they, if uh, maybe if we go to the wide, the die, but cast. The die cast yeah. and everything. Yeah. So, like so you've got Cole Trickle. Everything. Yep. You've got the Dale Junior um, Sun Drop car, yep. and then you have the split seven-time champion Richard Petty and um, that's Dale signed, Senior, signed by Richard Petty, which is which is awesome. Yeah, and they're pretty cool. Like, heck yeah. There's big a big fan. There's a cool series we're working on where we're gonna go through some stuff in the uh, in the studio and have. They'll talk about it. So you heard it here first. Oh dang! Don't yeah. share. Yeah, you just Plans. spoiled it. Spoiler alert! It was, it's the head of social idea. media so, is going to yeah. be very upset. I know. For sharing I'll that. have to. Hey, for the yeah. record, though, I um I did I did test for Richard Petty one time. Really? And um, him and Dale Inman are like heroes. Mm. Like yeah, like amazing, amazing people. And uh, 
yeah, so it was really cool. So to test for them and then to drive for Dale Earnhardt Jr. I mean, I feel like I've hit the jackpot. And Roger Penske. I mean, I feel like you hit I feel like I've hit the jackpot that's there. Super so. cool. well, also, before we let just, I have to thank you. Okay. So <laughs> n- nobody gets more excited. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be worth for your He's, wins. He's your biggest fan. Because <laughs> when you guys win, we have beer toast. That's why. We do. And, and so Travis the, second, the beer. second that you cross that finish line, uh, there's a group text of Dirty Mo people, and that's just beer toast. Yeah. I, I don't know if anybody in this building celebrates Can you add me to the to the group text? Yeah. Yes, we, we can. can yes. You. We will definitely you're, will. That's going to be the first thing you see when you get out of the car. <laughs> yeah. I'm you okay with that. Beer back, toast. But beer I, toast. I will say I have – I there is nothing more awkward, though. Now, Martinsville kind of screwed the whole system up because mm-hmm. we won like – with a hundred yards to go, right? Right. right. But there is. Oh, hang on. We got. We got Nicholas. more donations. So it's yeah. Oh it's man, amazing. Is, oh, wow. Nicholas, this is gonna be like fifty bucks in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I lost the train of thought there. Martinsville. 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 But normally, like, I'll have some people that will text me in advance because they know we're gonna win, oh. and like, whoo, that gets to be rough. Well, you can't because you could. You, you, gotta, it, you could Rick Allen. It could look. It yeah. could look like Martinsville, yeah. and you yeah. could be leading coming. And uh, no, I always, no, no. I always have to laugh if I do win, and I look at those texts. I'm like, all right. I actually, okay. Last week I got them. Um, you know, most popular driver ends today. Oh, and some, is voting still open? Uh, I don't know if it is or not. Check it, fans. If yeah, I don't know still if it open. is or not. I know today's the last day. Vote. And um, uh, some website, and I don't remember exactly what it was called posted that i won their website's most popular driver uh, but the way they worded it it like looked like it the big one and um people were texting me and like it was all over facebook and i'm like like it just yeah. it just blew up right <laughs> and i was like oh man i got that's cool awesome. and i'm like wait a minute the voting hasn't ended yet so <laughs> yeah. then uh they were yeah. trying to go through all that it was kind of a disaster it's just like dave's pizza's po- most popular yeah. driver right like, that's exactly yeah. what it was yeah. Exactly, yeah. okay so the question real quick so because yeah. i don't want him to waste yeah, his yeah. money yeah was what is my favorite place to eat whenever i go back home and uh this is a loaded question mm. so a bunch of places uh there are uh dylan's pizza okay right okay. you just talked about pizza, pizza. Yeah. dylan's pizza uh hickory river barbecue right so like it's like go to um, Jolly Tamale, which is a little like Jolly taco, like a uh, Mexican food place. Um, those are like my three. Um, I, I just did four, but th- those are my three. Um, the problem is, is that now I, I like it. Oh, and Darcy's pint. Um, also the problem is when you go back home. So we have this, we have this dish. I'm, I'm taking you guys way longer than we were supposed no, to be on, but that's okay. This is awesome. Um, we have this dish in, in Springfield, and I think it's just Springfield. Like, I I think that they've actually had people that have, um, like, picketed and, like, uh, oh. you know, like, gone and, like, like shut restaurants down for, for doing this. But we have this um, – we, ha- we have this dish called a horseshoe, right? Okay. So what it is, the original one was a piece of Texas toast with a hamburger on top of it, oh, uh, crinkle-cut fries over top of that. And then like a liquid cheese, not oh. nacho cheese. Yeah. It, it cannot be nacho cheese. It's like this, like creamy liquid cheese. Like if you've had um, macaroni cheese that has like the creamy yeah, cheese, yeah, 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 okay. like think about that, but like liquidy over the whole thing. Holy! Uh, and yeah. it's not a sandwich. Like you gotta, you gotta dig. You gotta into work it. on it. That's a knife. And, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the question becomes: Is like white cheese or? Yellow cheese. Yeah, there's different uh, variations of it. Now yeah. everybody does different proteins, so like you can do uh-huh. as as much or as little as you want to do. So there's a pony shoe and there's a horseshoe. A pony shoe is uh one hamburger, one piece of toast. A horseshoe is two hamburgers, two pieces of toast. Um, <laughs> I'm getting a plane well, ticket right now. I'm yeah, getting back. Why Dude, they, it's unbelievable. What are they picketing? Like, what are they protesting? Um, that it's if if you're outside of the Springfield area and you, you do can't this, make oh, it. no, you it, do it, it doesn't. Oh, it's like a local thing. Yes, like you can't copy. So it. okay. Illinois State Fair, right there in town. Yeah. In Springfield. Um, horse racing is like a big part of the – it's a big part of the State Fair. And it I, I don't know who started it. I, don't, I, I probably should do some history lessons <laughs> on that one. I don't know. I, I'm from there, and I should we'll know. But, next time. Um, they started the thing, and almost all the local restaurants that are like not chains – that's crazy. Look Man. Yeah, now. it's so good. That's super like cool. I had one when I went, when I went home. Actually, I left the dealership to go you got to lunch. One? I went and got one and came back. So a horse yeah. in Rome. When in Rome, when yeah. That's it. When in Springfield, you got to eat a horse. That's right. Yeah. And everybody that I know that goes there, so like Springfield Arca Race, 
you have you get, uh, like the, it's, like, it's I, one of the stops. Yeah. I'm like, listen, you got to go find a horseshoe. Yeah. I don't care where you get one from. I like Darcy's because it's like more of a white cheese type thing, but like doesn't matter where you get just one from. Somewhere just go. in town. Yeah. I need like a liquid pepper jack cheese. Yeah. yeah you're really a big good. fan of pepper I'm a huge fan of pepper jack, but I think you need to try the classic, <laughs> yeah, try the classic the first and see. <laughs> I don't know that you would. I don't know that you would want to okay. change it. Mm. I'm looking this thing up. I've. It yeah, sounds you amazing. Try it it well, is so good. Well, Justin, thanks for coming. For the on. third time. No. <laughs> thank you. I'll well, see you I later. I just want to be we, conscious of your time. Yeah, here. we're worried no, we're about good. you. I listen. Uh, I have um, my daughter is you had a cheerleading tonight. Oh. Okay. For um, really odd mm. old man moment. I mean, I got plenty of gray hair, but this is kind of an old man moment. But my daughter tried out for elementary school cheerleading, right? They were a little bit short on middle school cheerleading. So she got the the nod Promoted. to go do wow. middle school cheerleading. She got called up. So like last night we did middle school girls. They were there. They cheered for the middle school girls. Tonight though, so uh, in in their conference, whatever you want to call it, there's like no JV, right? So so for every middle school and and varsity, there's like for I think there's like one JV game for every like five of the other two. Right, so like the JV kids still, I think I think they they dress for varsity, even though they only play JV. Um, but since there's not like a full C, they asked the middle school girls to cheerlead half of them, and so tonight my daughter's doing her first high school wow. high school Honestly. basketball game, and that's I'm like, that's yeah. that's weird. I I'm sorry, <laughs> that's just so you're going to the high school to, to go watch. Yeah, that's it. well, it's all the same school. Oh, so the school she it. goes to, um, yeah. It's it's, I, I, that's where kind of where I went to school was like uh you know it was all in one we had one they're, they're place. pods I yeah. don't know like they're all Something like pods like yeah it's not a big school yeah she goes to a Christian school here in, in Mooresville and gotcha. um it's pretty small yeah yeah but it's nice. it's uh well I had, Wyatt goes there okay. uh Oliver Paluto they they, uh, they go there as well like a lot of racing families go there because so we go um so she goes Monday Tuesday Thursday. And then you homeschool Wednesday, Friday. No way. Yeah, so it's Whoa. kind of a it's university stock, university block style. And are you teaching? Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> he called like, his wife a rock yeah. star. This is yeah. one of the. Yeah. I, listen, <laughs> every right time there. I you said, don't want to win why. teaching. No, right I, I try, and it ends <laughs> yeah. up my daughter is in tears, and she's she's uh -huh. devastated. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And so, call yeah. me when you need to drive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll teach we'll you how to drive. She's she's not far from there. Yeah. But okay, I have one question for you. Yeah. When are we running together? Dude, anytime. I ran you, today. Hold on, hold on. Are you doing a half marathon? I'm doing a 10K half full in four days. Holy in cow. In four? Wait, in yes, all sir. of those in four? Do the 5K on Thursday, the uh, 10K on Friday, the half on yeah, and the full on Sunday. You're not doing the Huntersville one? So I'm not. And I'm super I, disappointed I was going to. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to sign up for that one. Okay, so I was. The Brent Oh, and, uh, yeah, because travel, travel. Get... We we thought we had travel worked out, and it fell through. And so now I'm flying home at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning, but it kind of ruins it because it's it's a morning uh, race, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm doing like I'm doing start. um Sunday. There's a there's a 5k that I'm doing. So I'm doing a 5k Around here. Yeah, I'm doing a 5k this Saturday. I'm doing a 5k next Saturday, do, and do then I'm the doing 5K a 5k the following Sunday. Is it too late to sign up? No, you want to do the 5k with me this Saturday? Sure. Do it. Yeah. Uh, I That's say fun. slow. I'm gonna run slower than I normally would because my daughter's running with me. There's a. I've been running with her a lot. She's been doing five Ks and like, it's been awesome. So, um, I think she's gonna break the thirty minute barrier. Oh like, heck yeah! She was thirty one in my last five K, <laughs> and I like, I was super impressed. I think she's thirty minute barrier, um, which I'm not super fast. Um, fastest five K for me is like twenty five minutes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I have one, one in my lifetime that was sub twenty minutes. Holy cow! Uh, That's you're booking you're it. Flying. Well, I was with a group of people that I didn't know were he, pacing like that. Uh, he didn't like I knew they were though. pacing like that. I was like two hundred beats a minute for five k. I, oh I but my I didn't. Gosh. So competitive, competitive yep, side of me. I, was about to say. I think they thought I was in a lot better shape than I was, mm. and so they're like, "Hey, do you want to run our five k?" He's a race yeah, car driver. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it, I thought it was. Like, a public 5k and it wasn't it was uh, like a company like a group from the company that ran it and there was like eight of us and when the guy came out it was we were in indianapolis it was like 
six below zero. Oh. Ooh. Dude was in oh. two inch shorts and a singlet, and he carried his shoes to the starting line in a bag. And I knew right then and there I was screwed. screwed. Oh my right? god! I, <laughs> I Lord. was, I was, I wasn't worried about being cold because I was pumping water at like a hundred yards in. I mean, we were straight digging, wow. and uh, never again will I attempt to run a sub twenty minute five k. So, like for me, I'm, I'm in that boat. Like twenty five minutes is a great five k. Um, we need to talk about shoes though at some point. I've been a Brooks person for like. Listen for four years. Unless listen. you found something better. Yeah, I did. Oh. oh. Cheat codes. Cheat codes? Wait, that's what it's called? No. Oh. That's oh, they okay. are cheat codes. Okay. Oh, cheat codes. N- Nike Vaporfly Hoka? 3s. Oh. Oh, it was like illegal louvers and them. stuff. Yeah. It is on <laughs> it, hey, it Yeah, do you took, pass inspection at the end of the Yeah, he doesn't so, pass tech. So no. I run around a thirty minute five K. Like that's my standard. Like oh, but with these shoes. I went twenty five minutes with a lower heart rate. Lower average heart rate, lower everything, and took five minutes off my pace and wow. didn't do anything different. Vaporfly oh, threes? Yes. Try that. <laughs> is that not insane? Like, I, that is pretty wild. I mean, I, I haven't changed because I'm, it, it's kind of like if it ain't broke, don't fix it thing right now. now I don't, the, it's would, like, I don't I know don't, if I can improve. I would not run these for um, just casual. Not like, casual these running? Are like race. These shoes. are race shoes. Uh, They're see. carbon plate shoes. And Holy I don't crap. know that I would run them for um, long distance. Long distance. I don't know. Everybody says you can. I, yeah. You know. I don't yeah. know. So these are like stickers for qualifying. I'm, I'm, <laughs> they yeah. are. They, yeah. Listen, it, yeah. they're <laughs> taped up. They they probably have a little tire. So, they got tire soak on them as well. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Is is there air coming out of those tires? <laughs> listen, like, what's going I, like, on? It was in there. unreal. Like I never looked at my watch because I wanted to be unbiased. So I'm like, I run to a heart rate like where I feel, mm-hmm. like where you like you know like you're feeling. Yeah. So like 150 yeah. is my number. I I I run to 150 and then I don't I just don't, don't try go and over. Push it. Yeah. And uh, I ran to 150, and I took five minutes off, and I was like, holy cow! Wow, this is insane. Yeah. So I'll, I'll look into that. There you sure. go. There we go. I'm a big New Balance guy. You're a Brooks guy. I'm a New Balance guy. I'm I've always guy. run a New Balance, and um, yeah. Not so much. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, all right. Well, let me know about that 5K. I need so like I I have not seriously been training, and this half marathon just came on my radar. It, like so, there's just earlier there's this week. also so one the like following a, week at the state park, Lake Norman, Ooh. Lake Norman State Park. But I think it's Probably got a lot of elevation there. This this one's kind of no no Huntersville too. half has some elevation. Lake Norman State yeah, Park has a lot very, of elevation. Oh, it's yeah. it's like 900, 900 feet of elevation. I did triathlon there. It's yeah, that's yeah. legit. Yeah. Yeah. So, Anyways. um, but the Huntersville half's really good. I know there's a bunch of drivers doing it. All right. Um, I'll keep an eye out. There's a bunch of GM drivers that were talking you about could doing do it. a running man on the street. Oh, <laughs> that would actually be so. Funny. I want to do. I want to do an Ironman. I had Full? signed. I want to do seventy point three. So I had signed up for one. I was doing Chattanooga, and yeah. um, COVID happened. Pro- well, uh, like, and then the problem yeah. is like That'll a lot it. of them are during the race season. Yeah, that one so was an off like, weekend for us. Uh, so uh, one of the guys at Hendrick that does strength and conditioning for Hendrick. For the pit crews, he and I were gonna do it. Um, got a little bit of FOMO. Jimmy let him borrow a bike, and uh-huh. Jimmy had that like electronic shift, double throwdown, yeah, uh, tri bike, oh, and yeah, I, gonna, I did not. Um, and so it was May. It was in. It was like the middle of May, and uh, what March? The world shut down, and yeah. they canceled it. And yep. then like, <sighs> I just never got to do it. I'm super bummed. There's right. one in Florida. Like in a few weeks, I think that's like the best option for like our off season. But like the atmosphere on the course during the race is so infectious; like it keeps you going. Would you ever do a full? I have to. Like I, yeah, he will. It's a matter of time. He's it, insane. But that's a big that. commitment. Like that's like a part time job training for something like that. No, it's a full time job. You just yeah. You do a part time job. Like, to, so make like, dirty mo your part time job. That's like ten to twelve 